we're on. Praiseworthy, O God and God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name, for you are perfect in all you have done. I would like to thank the police for defending our freedom of religion and our First Amendment. Word. I know that's the only reason that we can call ourselves special in America is because we still respect each other's religion and each other's right to interpret scripture. And so I want to thank you for being here. It makes me feel safe. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Is it time for services to start? Deacon, Deacon Hassan, it is nearly time for services to start. Excuse me? Deacon Hassan, it is nearly time for services to start. I think we should prepare this temporary altar. A congregant has reported feeling frightened or intimidated at the presence of police here today. We had congregants who wished to come and pray with us. The right to practice their religion is substantially burdened by your presence. Nonetheless. Because they see you in fear and not as a protector. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon. Once again, we stand in the place of Eldad and Medad, the two who anointed themselves outside the camp. Even though the written law said otherwise, Moses deemed them to be in better faith. Bless this well. Bless the water that's meant to flow from it as healing waters out to all the nations. It is promised that from this spot, would flow the water of life, the river of life, that flows out to the four corners of the earth. Along the sides of this water is the tree of life, and its leaves are fruit for healing the earth. Hence, 
Hannon, would you give a teaching? I will, Deacon Sam. Did you ever sideways or up and down? I use up and down. And Moses descended with the recipe with this precious oil. He did so with a grasp of natural law of what this plant was in the ecosystem and in society. And he attempted to set forth in the crude language of his day a set of good guidances for its proper use and an attempt to restrict its improper use. Well, I think we can safely assume that Moses' intent was a good one. And nonetheless, we see, as I always refer to Numbers 11, verses 24 through 29, that elders, Eldad and Medad, had no title to this cannabis oil. But they put the Spirit of the Lord upon themselves. We know that's an anointing because of King David's anointing when the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. They put the Spirit of the Lord upon themselves without title, without legal right to do so. And the 70 titled elders tattled to Moses and said, Eldad and Medad had no right to put the Spirit of the Lord upon themselves. You, they, they violated your statute, Moses said the elders to him. And Moses said, no. They were in good faith. The Spirit of the Lord stayed upon them. For I anointed you by law, and the Spirit of the Lord did not stay upon you. And again, we gather here today in good faith with this oil, this cannabisin oil from the scriptural lesson, in good faith in front of the Federal Park Police, the enforcers of federal statutes in front of the municipal police, the enforcers of municipal and state statutes. We in gather front in of King faith. Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> we gather, indeed, indeed, Deacon is saying, we gather in good faith and we remain in good faith. And our rights are protected by the public servants. Isn't that um, wonderful in America? Amen. God bless America. God bless America. You are so out of the <laughs> Until the next harvest, we're down to the bottom. Blessed Mother, we give you the sacred herb, and here they come. We just going to turn that camera around. They come. We are conducting a religious service, sir. No, we can't. We're conducting a religious service, sir. Can we complete our religious service? We are having a religious service, sir. The church can.
So do you have any weapons on you? No weapons for me. No weapons. Sir, would you, would you put the pipe down for us? We have a Bible. So this is sacred okay. matter. It's fine. I, I just need to in prayer. I will not. Doesn't this make you ashamed of no, your I job? I will not put the pipe down, sir. Okay. I'm in prayer. Okay. So you will it, not put the pipe down? It really says in the Bible. Okay, I ask you again to put the pipe down, like the law, doing the right thing But the right. law says. No, 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 no. I'm in prayer. Law and city providence prohibits smoking marijuana. Would you, uh, I'm going to ask you one more anyway. time, would you put the pipe down, sir? I'm in prayer. I will not put down this pipe. Okay, sir, I need you to put the pipe down. And we need to, we need to talk to you about what you're doing here. Okay. Just, I want you to sit right here. You don't move, all right? Are you Mr. Gordon? Yes, good all, yes, good all, shame, rabba. Be all my divrach, you te, be all me, machuse, for chaye, chon, be all me, chon, be chaye, be all pesis for real. Fog all on, who's my grieving. Gordon, do you have any identification with you? Amen. Okay. Thank you. 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 What we're going to do is we're going to get you up and we're going to walk you over to our vehicle. And we're going to issue a federal violation notice for possession. Do you understand that, sir? Okay. I can just possibly understand it. It's about up to walk around on the other side. Thank you. 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 You must also arrest me. You must also arrest me. I also was smoking. Stand back, back. Thank you. Appreciate it. Step back over there. You're not only taking him. Ma'am, step back over there. What's your name? I mean, if you want to go with him. I do. You do? Just, just I stand insist. back and wait, then, please. Your wallet out, okay? Stand back and wait, please. I lit the pipe please, and handed no, it to him and smoked it first. You just have to work, and then we'll get to you in a moment, please, okay? Thank you. What's your first name, ma'am? Anne. Anne, just please step back. Thank you. Okay. I got arrested by one, you guys one time before I was praying a rosary in front of the abortion clinic. And telling the women going in there, please just let me adopt your baby. And the policeman told me to move, and I didn't move fast enough. And I looked at him, I said, I'm praying for you too. You don't want a job where you do this to people over plants, just so that some people can get rich and everyone else goes without. And if you saw the patients that we worked with that came to us with cancer... And with all the other diseases that cannabis cures, and they've known it all along that cannabis cures all these diseases. I have a patient whose husband was a Coventry policeman, and he died of prostate cancer. And he could have lived if he had been allowed to use cannabis. And then she got breast cancer, and she came to me. And thank God we have a medical law. I gave her cannabis, and she healed from the breast cancer. And the laws that you're enforcing are perpetuating this kind of suffering. I'm so sorry for you. I know that you want a good job and you want a paycheck and everything. But our society is really going the wrong way. When at the very spot where the treaty was made that would respect religious freedom forever, when people come to celebrate according to the rights that are actually written into that Bible, you'd come and, 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 and interfere with that. As if Roger Williams didn't make any kind of a treaty at all. I hope that paycheck tastes good to you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Yehoshua, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray 
for us sinners now and at the hour of death. They better arrest me too. I don't want to have to go get more cannabis and smoke it again, but I will if I have to because I lit the pipe and handed it to him and you saw it, and so it's going to be me too. My name's going to be on that landmark case, too, and then once again, you'll be able to be proud to wear your uniform, because you guys do do a lot of good. But if you've been in the force a few years, you'll, you'll notice that all the domestic violence cases you go to involve alcohol, and none of them involve cannabis. And I'll tell you something else. John Carnivale, go Google up his Wikipedia article. He used to be your sergeant. He raped a woman. It says in Wikipedia about him. He tried to rape her. She had a handicapped child, right? He tried to rape her. She said no. The Wikipedia article about the police sergeant said he, he masturbated in her face. And then he threw a $20 bill at her and told her to go get her handicapped child something to eat. And then he was indicted by a grand jury because his DNA was on her clothes. This is on Wikipedia. Go look it up. And um, she died the day after the indictment of a young, healthy woman of a massive pulmonary embolism. That's who you serve. Not the Blessed Mother, not the truth. I know everybody says, get a job, take the money. You're arresting people for praying to God the way it says to in the Bible. I hope your mother's proud of you, both of you. Is it my turn yet? Stand back. Is it my turn yet? Is it my turn yet? Stand back, stand back. Is it my turn yet? You're going to say, please don't push.